Yeah. Uh, I think it's for a lot of reasons. Probably the most prevalent one is just, you know, everyone is kind of interested in human behavior in general, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so maybe they took a psychology class when they were in high school, that it was offered to them like, a, like an advanced placement class or something like that, and they decided that that was something that they wanted to continue doing. Um, you know, like a lot of people come in because they have an interest in things like uh, personality disorders or um, working with uh, children with uh, mental disabilities or something like that, and that's kind of what drives them into the major in the first place, I imagine. Well, psychology is one of the uh, classes that fulfills a gen ed requirement. And a lot of people uh, take the Psych 100 course as the, to fulfill the gen ed requirement. And I feel like after they take it, they really feel engaged in the material and they find it to be really interesting. So it really depends on which branch of psychology you want to go into. Uh, there is a branch of psychology that focuses on neuro psychology, so it's brain. Um, a lot of that, it would be really beneficial to take some basic biology and chemistry courses. Uh, and in that course you'll talk about uh, how drugs interact within the brain and other systems. And then for other courses, um, math is really important. So once you get to some of the upper level courses, you'll be using statistics to determine uh, the outcomes of experiments. So it's really beneficial to be able to take math. Well, obviously, uh, there are a lot of as general ed things. Um, if you have the opportunity to take any other kinds of science courses that you might be interested in, you know, so of course obviously you have to take some of those classes, uh, mm -hmm. so um, bio biology or chemistry, um, especially today since, you know, the field is kind of moving towards uh, more uh, biological, psychological models and uh, social neuroscience models, um, so people who have some familiarity with those types of techniques mm -hmm. um, will probably have some more advantages in the field. In addition to that, uh, I would recommend taking courses that will kind of um, answer critical thinking skills, so certain like philosophy courses and things like that, mm -hmm. that you know, kind of increase your ability to think, to construct logical arguments, because um, that's important for any scientific discipline. So, you know, if you, say for example, are interested in clinical psychology, um, you know, there are, of course, classes like personality and things like that, and then lecture labs that relate to personality, sort of uh, psychological testing and things like that. Um, but of course, if you have interest in, this is a big university, so, you know, you can go into clinical work and have work with faculty to do that. Um, you can go into work on learning and cognition and work maybe with like Dr. Tom Zental or people who work in the animal labs and work on those types of things. Um, and then we have a, big, a relatively big social department as well. It has a lot of flexibility. There's multiple uh, different paths you can take within psychology. Personally, I'm focused more on learning and I do a lot of work with animals. I actually work in an animal research lab um, with pigeons and rats. But other people are working with different things. So uh, some people do the clinical counseling route and they work with people um, some people do child psychology and they work with ADHD children. Then there's another route where, again, the neuro route, where you work a lot with drugs and behavior. Mm -hmm. Probably the biggest elective within the major is uh, Psych 395 and 399. 395 is research experience, so you work in a lab directly with a professor. 395, or 399 rather you go outside of the department and do an internship. Uh, I know individuals who work at schools and do uh, school monitoring and then drug intervention programs as well. Obviously, you know, if you want to kind of go to, like, if you want to learn specifically about, you know, UK psychology program, mm -hmm. you know, you could go to, you know, the, their website. Something like uh, the Association of Psychological the uh, American Psychological Association website can teach you more about different, you know, avenues of psychology you know, or um, the American Psychological Society um, can help you um, learn more about, you know, what social psychologists in various aspects of the field are, are doing, you know, um, just to get a sense of, you know, what it is you might be interested in as a psychologist, you know, like what do you, what do you kind of like motivates you to kind of continue to learn about, you know, human behavior. Probably the most beneficial thing is to talk to people in the major, uh, people that are advancing the major, but also on the ANS website, 
you can find information about individual faculty and courses. Uh, the psychology has its own website on ANS. Yeah, the primary organization for psychology majors, it's something called Psychi. Um, this is an international organization, so students are um, actually interested in joining. Um, they can join UK's chapter. Um, our faculty sponsor is Dr. Arthur, so um, any additional information, um, you can ask Dr. Arthur about it. And you can join at any time of the year. It has different meetings that you can, uh, that you can attend that will cover careers, um, that they would help you with information about how to get to grad school. They have their own publication that you can also um, read online. So it's, it's a great opportunity for students. So there is a fraternity that is directly related to honors in psychology. It's called Psychi. Um, Stephen Ar Arthur is in charge of it. Psychi is the biggest one. And then a lot of people tend to do labs and they get involved in their labs a lot. Depending on which area you want to go to, yes, it is required. If you want to be a clinical psychologist, if you want to be a counseling psychologist, you are going to require, it's going to be required that you have either a master's degree at least, if not a PhD. So yes, a lot of the careers, and to be actually called a psychologist, you do have to go to grad school. It depends what you want to do. There's a lot of flexibility within the major. Um, if a lot of the paths will follow and encourage a graduate degree, especially if you wanted to go into research or um, counseling. Being a psychology major is actually great because it opens up for a lot of different careers. You can go into areas from sales to education to actually into the industry. So it's probably one of the most diverse fields um, career-wise. So it's really the biggest benefit of psychology is the skills you develop, the analytical thinking mm -hmm. and being able to uh, interpret data mm -hmm. and that's one of the biggest skills. Um, so personally, I'm going into research but I know people that are going to be counselors, people that work in businesses. Uh, we don't necessarily have a very strong Iowa program here, but there are programs in psychology that are focused on business organizations and how they uh, to maximize productivity.